All right, now tutorial question 5. A. The root mean square speed of the atoms of a monoatomic gas at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius is 603 meter per second. Find the mass of an atom of the gas. Okay, so what information given? We have, uh, okay, give us this one. This is the VRMS value, root mean square velocity. We also have, uh, okay, he said this is a monoatomic gas. Um, and this temperature is, uh, okay, give us a temperature. And find the mass of an atom. Okay, this is the small m. Just want to find the small m. So how? So how to do this? So we need to use the formula that relate v VRMS, temperature, and mass of one atom. Okay? Uh, so what formula? Uh, yeah. Before that, okay, I list down all the information. We have the VRMS. Okay, unit in SI. Good. Uh, always check uh, the unit or you must convert all to SI unit. Okay, before you substitute into the formula. Before you substitute into the formula, make sure all the quantity already changed to SI unit. So VRMS already in SI unit, meter per second. Uh, monoatomic. Okay. Um, not, I don't think it's useful right now, this information, monoatomic, is useful in the later part about the molecular kinetic energy. But this time, just, uh, just extra info. Now, the temperature in degree Celsius. Okay, so temperature in degree Celsius. When is degree, yeah? Yeah, so temperature in degree Celsius, you must change to Kelvin, you must change to SI unit first, yeah? So, degree Celsius to change to Kelvin with plus 273, yeah? Plus 273, you get 293 Kelvin, okay? Must, you, temperature must change to Kelvin first before you substitute into the formula. And then he asks for mass of one atom. Mass of one atom means small m, okay? So, what formula we use to relate the VRMS, temperature, and small m? Uh, this formula. VRMS equal to square root 3kt over small m. Because the question asks for mass of one atom. Mass of one atom. So we use the formula uh, mass of one atom, which is the small m and 3kt. Uh, for VRMS, actually, we have two formula. One is the, I just let you see. First, we have two formula. We have VRMS equal to square root 3kt over small m which is mass of one atom. Yeah. Maybe I just put there. Okay. Uh, this is the mass of mass of one atom. Okay. And then we have another formula with molar mass. Uh, mass of one mole. This is mass of one mole or molar mass. Mass of one mole of atoms. This is molar mass. So which, which equation we use? Which equation do we use? Uh, since the question asks for mass of one atom, mass of one atom, so we use the 3 kT over small m. Uh, uh, the, if the question asks for molar mass, uh, then we use the formula 3RT over molar mass. Okay? Okay, let us solve this question. Um, first of all, uh, we use the formula square VRMS square root 3KT over small m. Okay. Uh, already all in SI unit, especially the temperature, you must change to Kelvin. The value K, uh, the value of K, the Boltzmann constant, uh, this value, uh, you must refer to the list of constant, list of constant provided in the exam uh, to check the value. Okay. It's provided in the list of constant. Uh, okay. So just substitute all the information. Uh, VRMS is uh, 603 and then uh, uh, 3 times, uh, the, what is the K? The K value is, uh, after checking the list of constant, it is 1.38 exponent 
negative 23. Uh, that's the Boltzmann constant. Temperature already changed to Kelvin. You must change to Kelvin, yeah. Uh, 293 Kelvin. And then I need to find what? I need to find the mass of one atom. Uh, this is uh, the mass I need to find. Okay, so and then we square root. We square root. Sorry. Um, square root. We square root. Square root. Uh, we square root. Okay. After the square root, um, so our calculated mass of one atom is uh, 3.34 exponent uh, negative 26 kilogram. Uh, even the mass also in SI unit kilogram. Okay, let's answer. Now the next question, part B. Part B. Uh, calculate the root mean square speed of oxygen molecules at 300 Kelvin given the molar mass of oxygen is 32 gram per mole. Gram. Okay, what information given? So, uh, we need to find the root mean square speed. Okay, we need to find the VR mass. We need to find VR mass. Okay, it is the oxygen, oxygen molecules. Temperature given, we have 300 Kelvin there. And given the molar mass, okay, molar mass given, okay, molar mass. So this time we use the molar mass formula instead of the mass of one atom, okay? All right, so uh, molar mass given but in gram per mole, you see? Uh, this is the thing you need to pay attention, gram. The gram, huh? Uh, this one in gram, you must check uh, uh, gram. Uh, so you must change to kilogram. Now, um, okay, what information we list down? Okay, let us list down. So we have the temperature uh, already in SI unit, Kelvin. Good, yeah, already in Kelvin. No need to change. Must always in Kelvin. Molar mass given is uh, gram per mole. You must change to kilogram. Normally, uh, molar mass only uh, normally molar mass given in gram. Uh, so the question normally give in gram. You must change to kilogram. Yeah, must change to kilogram before we substitute. Yeah, if not, you got the wrong answer. If not in kilogram, must always in SI unit. Okay, remember the magic word. The magic word all all SI all SI unit. Okay, all SI. So now, um, okay. Okay, good. So molar mass of oxygen is 32 gram per mole. Okay, this 32 gram, is it for one atom of oxygen or one molecule? Because we know that oxygen is O2. O2. Uh, so this one, 32 gram, is for one atom oxygen or is it for oxygen 2? Uh, so, if you still remember chemistry, oxygen is 16, isn't it? The, the, uh, the, 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 what do you say? The, the, the uh, mass number, the mass number is 16. So, 32 means uh, times 2 lah, already times 2. So, you know, don't need to times 2 again. You don't need to times 2 again. It's a diatomic molecule. This one, you need to times 2 again because remember, it starts with 16. For atom oxygen, isn't it? For atom, so that means this one is thirty two already. Means already already times two. Ah, uh, the sixteen times two you get thirty two. That is for one molecule oxygen diatomic. Okay, one molecule oxygen diatomic. So thirty two gram per mole. No need to times two again. Okay. Yeah? So, but it is in gram. So you must change to kilogram. So divide by thousand. Divide by thousand means times exponent negative three. Okay, must times exponent negative 3 kilogram or more. Okay, so uh, I already have the temperature, molar mass. I need to find the VRMS. So how to find VRMS? What formula connect these three? Temperature, molar mass, VRMS. Uh, so uh, VRMS equal to square root 3RT over molar mass. 
Uh, so since the question gives us the molar mass, we use the formula 3RT with molar mass. Okay? What is the value for R? A value of R you can refer the list of constant. You will get the value of R equal to 8.31. Okay? This is molar mass in kilogram per mole. So now uh, let us substitute yeah, and get the VRMS. Okay. So I want I I want to get our VRMS. Okay. Uh, what is the value of R? 8.31. Uh, that's the 8.31 you get from your list of constant. So temperature is 300 Kelvin. You must change to Kelvin first before you substitute. Uh, and then what is our molar mass? What is our molar mass? You must change to kilogram first. Kilogram before you substitute. Don't put in uh, unit gram. Huh? Don't put in unit gram. You were wrong. Okay, so this one already in kilogram per mole. Okay, already in SI unit. So now you can square root and then uh, find the VRMS value. So I got uh, VRMS equal to 483.44 meter per second. Ah, that's the value of VRMS, uh, VRMS for oxygen at this temperature. Okay, uh, very simple. Okay, so remember the question gives you a uh, mass of one atom. Uh, you use this formula 3kt over mass of one atom. If the question use give us molar mass, molar mass, then we use the formula 3rt over molar mass. Okay, so that's it for this question. Okay, see you in the next question. Yeah, videos. Thank you.